I'd like to, I'd like to introduce, reintroduce our state senator from Brooklyn, but first I'd like to explain that uh, Howard Golden, the borough president, had planned to come out and there was some conflict that came up at the end. The Howard Golden, borough president, did have a conflict that came up at the end and could not make it. I called Senator Halpern, who happened to be in the Boy Scouts with me in Troop 114, <laughs> and I told him that he, was, that he wasn't the, the first choice, but he did say he was a pragmatist, and if it was a free trip, he would come. <laughs> And I'd like to welcome my friend and a very fine New York St State Senator, Don Halpern. Thank you. You may, you may have noticed when I read the citation that, <laughs> that Phil's name was Phil Feldman. Now you may have wondered how he got the name Phil Foster. Uh, if, if, if you read, if you read the, your newsletter, you'd know the answer to this. But he, it's because he named himself, he wanted to name himself Phil Foster Avenue, but the avenue didn't stick. So his name became Phil Foster because Foster Avenue was his favorite street in Brooklyn. Now by coincidence, Foster Avenue is the northern boundary of my Senate district. And uh, we wanted to get Phil a Foster Avenue sign, and as a matter of fact, the city authorized it, but when they went to try to take it down, the bolts were frozen, they couldn't get it off. So, so we have a replica. update you on some of the things that have been happening and try to uh, stimulate your memories. Uh, first of all, Nathan's may have been lost to Los Angeles, but it's still in Brooklyn. Uh, I even go there with my children back in Coney Island at its original location. The uh, parachute jump has been condemned. <laughs> Brighton but Beach is now known as Little Odessa by the Sea. <laughs> and if you know Da and Yet, you're okay there. Live entertainment in Brooklyn, at least in the old movie theaters, is no longer there. In fact, most of the theaters aren't there. The Paramount is now part of LIU's campus, Long Island University's campus. But the Albi is a parking lot. But I have one more thing that I have to do here. But before I do it, I, I have to dress appropriately. Remember this? I, I have brought with me a survival kit. I don't know, I don't know how it's going to help you survive, but I have a Mets hat here. Now, I guess we'll go do some school things. Remember this? A pass, a room pass. This is a real room pass, guys. We have a little pack here. Anybody remember Delaney cards? Oh, this is the ever popular tree that grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> well, I know that you had your uh, festival back here. You have your street game festival, and I brought a Spalding. Yeah. And a stickball back to hit it with. Phil Foster, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Foster. Listen, sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't embarrass me. Thank you. Very nice of you to do that. I'd like you to know, before you try to do anything that will represent comedy, tell you the truth about a number of things. <laughs> the history of my life. I'm always starting trouble. 
What I'm trying to say briefly is that uh, it's nice that we meet. It, it's nice. I like it. I feel today like my mother and father felt when they came from Russia and they uh, said we were going to out the street to meet some landslide. <laughs> this is what it is. Everybody in New York, we're all uh, Hamish people, we all know each other. And that's uh, one way or the other, there's a relationship, you know. I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'm thrilled seeing most of you. No, no. <laughs> I'll only be lying, so I'll, I'll tell you the truth. It's nice that we're here. You understand? Some of you are a pain in the ass. You came over and it started to bug me like you drove me crazy. Like, like it's my fault we met in a, a, a clothing store. <laughs> when Lou Zygmunt and his beautiful wife, were friends, they said to me that we have a place where we all can meet and have a wonderful time. I said, where is that? They said, the California Mart. I said, I worked a lot of strange places in my life, but I can't remember being excited about working in a Mart. Oh, they got a big, beautiful room. I said, but they show different things. They don't have no shows there. Oh, yeah, they have seats. I was very excited. And then we have another room where they don't see the show live. I said, only people from Brooklyn would be dumb enough to go into another room where they can't even see the show. I apologize to you people out there. If I was you already, I would have come in here. But then again, knowing what's here, you're better off where you are. <laughs> I can't believe that the Zygmunt's got away with this. <laughs> the idea is good. It's a great idea. Oh, and just those Frankfurters alone was worth $18. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the story of our lives. We people born in New York City, this is us. We know we're being taken, but who gives a shit? <laughs> what the hell is the difference? Thank you, and good evening. I am Bud Friedman, T. with Clinton, class of 50. Shuanga Lodge, class of 51, 52, 55, and 57. And we are delighted to see uh, so many people out here. I, I have never really worked in a fair before that uh, had an overflow in the uh, lobby. And some ladies and gentlemen, welcome now. Eddie. Thank you, thank you very much. New Utrecht High School, class of 79. Nazi. Uh, I have to start with a virtuoso piece because they tell me I'm a harmonica virtuoso, so therefore I shall play a virtuoso piece by the virtuoso composer, Bedrick Smetana. It's a piece from The Bartered Bride. <laughs> it's called The Dance of the Comedians. Okay. Go ahead. 